In this video, I'm going to show you how you can leverage Relevance AI and Agentive to build an AI product recommendation system. An AI product recommendation system can be deployed for e-commerce stores, landing pages, or even product catalogs. The main advantage of this system for e-commerce stores is that we can take customers' needs and find the exact products that solve those needs. For example, like I've done in my previous videos, if somebody wants a bag for work, we could recommend a messenger bag. If they wanted a bag for the beach, we could re recommend a tote bag. So I'm going to quickly show you exactly how to build this using Relevance AI and Agentive, and it's probably a lot easier than you think. To get started, we're going to be using Relevance AI as well as Agentive to build this. If you're not sure what these platforms are, Relevance AI is a tool building platform. This enables us to build a series of automations similar to Mac.com or Zapier, but this is now tailored for connecting this to an, an AI or the Assistance API like Agentive allows us to do. And we're able to then call this function and run these series of automations and then pull that data back in a very nice response. Agentive is what we connect relevance to. Agentive is a, a platform that is essentially very similar to the Assistance API Playground if you've played around with that on OpenAI. So this takes the Assistance API, which is just sort of the GPT-like builder that we can uh, utilize over the APIs, but this is giving it a sort of user interface and we're able to add tools. And so I think adding tools is the number one thing that Agentive comes in and really helps with. When we are talking to the Assistance API or our GPTs uh, over the API, we're not getting access to the tools. We're gonna get access to the functions. We can't run them at all. We have to set up additional uh, automations using Replit is quite a popular um, alternative for doing that. We can use that to run all the functions. Um, but this is obviously, that's a very technical setup. Agentive streamlines that entire process and allows us to simply go to the tools, add in the tool um, that we can generate using relevance quite easily. And you can see how they've actually got a little hyperlink here for it because it's so easy to do it. What we're gonna do here is essentially build it on relevance, connect it to this, give it a very small prompt, and then we'll be good to go. So I'll jump right into relevance as to how this works. So what I've gone ahead and done is just created a new project. Um, you're gonna land on a pretty similar page to this. And there's sort of three core things that they've got. They've got the knowledge, the inputs, uh, as well as sort of, I guess, the outputs as well. In the user inputs, I've gone ahead and just put in a question. Uh, so the question, the text input is just allowing us to send some information to the system. What I've gone ahead and done is just put question. This is for a bag company. For example, I need a bag for the beach. So if you watch my previous recommendation system videos, this is, a, this is the exact same system, but now converted to a relevance project. So once we've gone ahead and put in a user input and we're now capturing that into the text variable, that's what the green bit here is. We're moving on to an LLM step. So this is the chat GPT sort of uh, prompt system, I'm sure you're familiar with. What I've gone ahead and done is pasted in a very large uh, Airtable formula query generator prompt. This prompt is generating an Airtable query because what we're gonna go ahead and do is take an Airtable query, send that to an Airtable base full of some data and pull back some responses and so you can see here, convert the following to an Airtable formula and text is the variable from the input. We're then just saying, if there's no valid query, reply there's no valid query. So that just spends um, some, some error handling there. Just make sure it's not gonna output a formula that we didn't want it to. At your Airtable formula generator, use and condition one, condition two, uh, if there are multiple queries. So we're just saying, this is how it's formatted. formatted. So let's scroll down a little bit here and color equal to red, category equal to backpack. So this is exactly how an Airtable formula looks. That's how we're, what we're gonna be sending uh, through the API step that I'll show you in a second. We're just saying if the, if the question the user's asked or the, the product that they want uh, can be categorized through the color of red and the category of backpack, let's put that into a formula, send that to Airtable and pull back the series of products that are re relevant to that query. So essentially, uh, this information, this entire prompt is going to be within my free resource hub link in the description. So you're going to be able to get access to this uh, and just copy this entire script as well as the Airtable base that this is going to be connected to. But ultimately all we're doing is just putting in enough formatting and enough prompting to sort of engineer it to be able to output a consistently accurate Airtable formula. We're then taking this Airtable formula that it outputs and sending that to an API request. This is our API request. All we've done here is put in the, uh, it's a get method. We're getting some data back and we're going to put in our URL. Um, this URL comes from Airtable. 
it is our sort of Airtable document URL and we're saying filter by formula equal to LLM answer, which is our Airtable query that we generated. Once that processes, it will pull back a series of products. So I'll just demo that working right away. So I'll just go to the use button, which allows you to generate. If I said, I want backpack and said run tool, this should pull back four backpacks because uh, it's set up to pull back four data points. And you can see here, we've got four and we're gonna stream these other four backpacks, one backpack in black and we've got a backpack in blue and so on and so on. So this system, once then connected to Agentive, will format it quite nicely through the sort of LLM step that it's going to be doing automatically. So if I said, I want a backpack. And as you can see here, we've now got a response back from the I want a backpack. And it's taken that relevance response and it's automatically formatted this for us. It's gone ahead and listed all the details that it pulled back from Airtable. It's even displayed the image within the response and it's counted all four products uh, in a nice sort of format here. And so additionally, we can ask this and continue to com conversate with it because of Agentive, how this is essentially just an assistant. And I'll go over the, the actual assistant details. So we've got instructions. You're a helpful assistant for a bag company called Ecoware. You want to run the product recommendation tool when a user requests a product. Um, and that's essentially all we need to do for it to detect. If we're asking for a product, it's going to run the tool, send it to relevance and see if we can get some products back. If we do, it's going to format it like this. And so this does have a few deployment features as well. We can deploy this to voice flow and have it as a website assistant and not just stuck in the agentive interface. If I go over to voice flow here, what they give you is a voice flow template. And all you need to do is replace your API keys and your assistant ID. So this will just give you an assistant ID. The documentation is all in agentive uh, for your follow and it's quite easy but all you'll get is essentially the same response that you get here within voice flow and it will display all the images as well so just lastly this is the Airtable database that i've connected the system to if you want to go ahead and get the url as well as the bearer key i'll show you exactly how to do that so we just need to go over to once you've created a Airtable base or you've cloned this one which i'm going to have in my free resource hub once you've cloned it just go over to your sort of profile picture and hit developer hub once you've gone ahead and done that, just go over to the developer docs. We're gonna go ahead and get the URL. So once you've clicked that, just go to the web API button, uh, API docs. Once you're in that, we're just gonna scroll down and find the actual base that we've got our products stored in. Once you've clicked that, we're now in the actual documentation. We just need to scroll down until we get the imported list table records. Here it is. And we're just gonna take this entire URL. So we're just copying that full thing and then going back to relevance and just pasting it in here uh, i've already gotten it here so it's the same thing but just after we've pasted it in we've got to add and filter by formula equal to our llm answer which comes from our llm that generates the actual formula for Airtable. we're going to go back to Airtable to get the bearer key and we're just going to go to the personal access token page where we were earlier just hit create new token give it a random name i'm going to call it random and just add all these scopes. It requires, doesn't require all these scopes, but it does uh, require some of them. So you might as well add all of them just in case you want to use it for other features and functions as well. Just make sure to add them all in. And then just when you click add a base, add in the base that we're wanting to actually communicate with. Once you've done that, you can hit create token and it will just pop up on the screen. I won't do it again because I've already done it, but just take that code and make sure to save it because you won't be able to access it again. So just save that, go to relevance, go to the well, go to the header, type authorization, type bearer, click the space bar, and then set, paste in your key. Once you've got that set up, the API is ready to go. Once you've got that bearer key pasted in, you just want to make sure to actually save your relevance project. We're going to exit out of this, and what we're going to do is generate a custom action GPT. We're going to go select our actual relevance project we just created, hit generate open AI schema, it's going to generate this here just hit generate api key and it's going to give you a another api key that we're going to use to access relevance go ahead and hit the copy button and go to agentive and all you need to do is go into the tools and add a new tool in here so once we hit new tool we can we can actually paste in the schema here it'll allow us to add a, a bearer key uh, in addition to this so it's very similar to the relevance uh, bearer key thing that we just did earlier Put in your bearer key, it's got a series of tutorials that show you exactly how to do it, especially on relevance as well. Um, so it'll be easy to follow through with. Once you've done that, it'll be connected, ready to go. 
So I hope that was a useful video in understanding how to easily build a product recommendation system using Relevance AI and Agentive. If you want to get access to everything that I built in this video, you can go ahead and sign up to my free resource hub link in the description. And if you're a business owner and you want a similar system to this, you can contact me through my calendar link in the description.